Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining today's session. And in today's session, we're going to talk about CRM for Outlook and the B1 usability package. Well, if you have both solutions, you are able to put SQL reports in your CRM for Outlook. The CRM for Outlook is an integration to your SAP Business One, meaning you can get SAP data in your Outlook so you don't have to log on to your SAP. You can do certain activities in, S, uh, uh, in, in Outlook. And the beauty is if you have the B1 usability package also, which I hope you do, um, then you can create reports with the usability package and you can grab those reports and add them to your Outlook. So you have everything at your fingertips. You don't have to go into SAP Business One. You can do uh, your uh, customer relation management tasks in Outlook, and then you can also pull reports, uh, the ones you need. And that's what I would like to show you today. So if I open up my Outlook, you see right here, just in case you are not very familiar with it, you see right here, I have two banners right here. And one is related to the business partner because this uh, person, Karsten Post, is a contact person uh, in uh, it, uh, with this business partner. So it pulls up the information for me. If I move to another person, she is a contact person with another business partner. So you have all your information right here about the business partner, sales year to date, sales month to date, and so on. We have a lot of videos out there for that. Okay, And a very new feature that's coming out actually next week is that when you have a sales quotation, for example, actually let me pull up an existing one. Uh, if you, for example, have a sales quotation, and I do believe I did upgrade my um, uh, to the newest version, I did. You see right here, you also can copy a sales quote to a sales order in your Outlook. You don't have to go back to SAP Business One. So you have the flexibility to do all your uh, uh, sales tasks right here in Outlook. OK, so I have this uh, tab right here. This is everything business partner related. And then I have my tab here. My tab is everything me related, me as the salesperson. So those are all my sales invoices open. Those are all my sales quotation open. So I'm in here. I'm doing all my everyday tasks right from Outlook. I can do activities, as you see, service calls, opportunities, orders, sales orders, and so on. And you see right here, I can view all my open uh, documents for this business partner, or I go over here and see the open documents, my open documents, and I see what's overdue, I see what's upcoming, okay? so. But I would like to have some reports because, you know, I want to see, uh, let's say maybe I'm a manager and I want to have like a, an aging report. I want to have a report um, uh, that lists all my customers and their balances. Or maybe I want a report that uh, that gives me the um, the last items the customer bought. So if you go in here to reports, and you click on uh, report configuration, <clears throat> you can pull some reports and those reports come from the B1 usability package. And I'm going to show you really quick. If I go to SAP Business One add-on, you see I have the usability package installed. If I click on it and go to module configuration, we have universal functions. And universal function can be a lot of things, but we also, those are all my types, but we are talking about the SQL, uh, SQL report universal function. So I have this universal function. I created some reports, and those are the ones I can attach to my Outlook. Okay, so if I click here, add SQL report, 
you see there's a list of uh, uni uh, universal function uh, type SQL report. Very important, oh, and I have it here. We have an article out there for you. Okay, I showed you we have two tabs. One is the business partner tab, and then one is called my data. If you use a report on the business partner tab, okay, you need to have one of the fo following anno annotations. Annotations, I'm sorry. One of those. And if you attach a report to my data, it doesn't, uh, it cannot have one. Okay, keep that in mind, which makes sense because if you are on, uh, if you are on here, we wanted to look at the business partner uh, code. But if I'm over here, I don't want to have any an annotation because I just want to have a, a, a report, an overall report, and I'll show you. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to in here again, add report. I'm going to click add SQL report and here are the reports uh, I can use for this tab. Okay, so let's do um, maybe the last 10 items, the last 10 items this customer bought. Okay, I'm going to click this. Then right here, you can choose an icon, whatever you would like. Uh, let's put a star and all you do is click OK. And you see your outlook refreshes right away. And also remember, it's real time. When you run this report and somebody makes a change in SAP, uh, and, you know, it will show up on your report. It's real time. Okay, that's very important. And also when you have CRM for Outlook, you don't have to have the client running. I have it running because I'm on a local machine. But as long as the server is up somewhere in the world, the server got to be running. Like I'm uh, in the US and I have a server in Europe. I can use my CRM for Outlook or vice versa. Okay, so if I go in here, you see it's right here with my little icon and I click last 10 items. Unfortunately, this customer has the same item, uh, always buys the same item. But you see right here, it's, it's, uh, uh, it shows me the dates because that's my SQL report. So if I switch uh, customer or, yeah, let's switch customer. Now I have Machina Corporation and let's run the report again. And you see it's different data. OK, so it looks at the business partner code and it gives me the real data based on the business partner. Uh, let's add another one. I want to show you one more. Let's click Add SQL Report and let's do open, I think it was this one, open and closed sales orders and we give it this icon. And you also can do a chart, okay? You can also do a chart. I'm doing a great right now again. And if I go in here, and here's my second report. That's how simple it is. As long as you have the usability package, you have your reports ready. That's all it is. A few clicks, you have your own reports right here. And you see right here, this one is a collapsed SQL report uh, created with the B1 usability package. And there we go. Those are my closed sales orders. And those are my open sales orders. And again, if I switch uh, customer, just for you to see it, you will see that data is different because um, because it looks at the business partner uh, master uh, code. You see, has they have way more open. Okay, so here you can uh, attach your reports. Okay, you can do it as uh, business partner specific right here, but then you have your data. Your data is me, so I have all those sales quotation open. I need to make sure I start closing them or orders and so on. And I want some reports, so I want to have some overview reports. I have nothing here yet. So I'm going to click here and again, I'm going to just click Add SQL Report. And you see I have different reports here because they are written different, okay? The article I just showed you. So I would like to do... Um, a customer list. That's what I want. A customer list. Okay. So I'm, I want to go in there and I want to see what my, uh, what the balances are for the customers, for example. And I'm clicking. Okay. And that's it. And you see right here is the report. And there is my customer list with their balances. 
And again, it's, it's real time. If somebody in the office in the US or in Australia or wherever they're working in SAP, they apply payments and you pull this report, you will see uh, 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 less uh, balance because it's real time. Keep that in mind. And that's, that's the beauty of it. And I'm going in here and I believe I do have a graph report. Sales graph. Let's try this one. I'm going to leave this icon and right here, you see, you can also pull a graph report. I want you to know the flexibility so you can do a, a grid or a graph, uh, whatever you prefer. If you maybe one day say, okay, I, I, I don't need this report anymore because for whatever reason, very simple to, uh, to remove them. Just go in there, click on them and remove report. That's, uh, that's all you do and it's gone. And you click OK and now you see you only have one report right there. OK, so this is how you add your uh, custom crystal reports to your CRM for Outlook. You really can do everything in here. You can do uh, put as many reports as you would like to on uh, either on here on the business partner tab or on your data. Get your custom reports. You have everything at your fingertips so you don't have to go into a system and so on. And you're going to save a lot of time and you have all the information right here. OK, and you see right here, um, you have a lot of information in there. I, I see here in for Outlook. I absolutely love it because if you get a phone call and you are in Outlook in the customer calls, you have what's my balance? You have it right here. If another customer calls you and say, what's my balance? You don't want to go through the emails and find them or find them here. You just have your report right here and say, OK, hold on. So uh, let's say uh, Protomex calls you. OK, you are $3,600 or at MaxiTech, you have a credit actually. If you don't have CRM for Outlook right now, please go on our website. Uh, we do have, um, we do have, uh, you can download it for free. You can have a 20, uh, a, a trial for 20 days for free. Set it up with your own data and you will see uh, how cool it is and, and you will love it you have questions afterwards here are our uh, email addresses uh, sales at boimit uh, com or if you have a support questions write us to support at boimit com ask us uh, download it uh, as I said next week a new version is coming up which is really cool uh, go find the release video it was just posted this week uh, really cool features new designs on the screen of course, I would like to show you everything because I really absolutely love it. But in today's session, I wanted to show you how you can add a SQL report if you have the usability package. Also, if you do not have the usability package, please download it also. You can have a free trial on this also. Usability package is uh, where you can customize your screen um, uh, in a very simple way. You see the dashboards right here. They come with the usability package already done. And I'm just going to open uh, uh, one screen. If you're not familiar with the usability package, you can customize your screens. You can put shortcut buttons just with right clicking. You can put new tabs and so on in a very, very simple way. Check it out. It's called the B1 usability package. And with this tool, I created my SQL reports and uh, and then I'm able to attach it to the CRM for Outlook um, uh, banners. Guide us if you have any questions, check out the free trials. Uh, you will not be disappointed and check out our webinars. Uh, if you Google Boyum uh, webinars, we have webinars almost every week. So please join our webinars. Uh, we have really cool topics. Um, uh, for you. Okay. Thank you so much and have a good day.